Hi, this is Brace with Jack, and this week I'm going to be talking about one of the most powerful add-on I have ever came across in Blender. But before we can talk about that, I want to talk about something that uh, yeah, it's just I'm just I'm I don't know how to go about talking about it without offending the Blender fanboy, so I'm just gonna have to say it. Ah, oh, oh, I'm so uncomfortable because I can feel all the fanboys that's about to go on me. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I'm just gonna say it. Oh, there is something wrong with the way Blender handles extrusion. If you just select a number of faces and press E, and then decide to cancel the operation by left click or right clicking your mouse. Again, this depends on uh, what you set in your preference dialog. Visually, it looks like you have undone the extrusion. But what actually happened is you have two faces that are now in the same place. And to remove it, you have to control Z to undo or you have to uh, remove double. And well, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like a big deal, but you know, these are the things that you do all the time when you're doing character modeling or well, actually any type of modeling. And over time, this kind of annoyance just kind of builds up, you know, and it's just psychologically traumatizing on some level, some very mild level. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I don't want to talk about how other software doesn't have this problem because they don't. And when I talk about this in the forum, most of the fanboys will be like, um, well, this is useful because then you could scale it down and then you have a smaller face within the face. Well, that will be an acceptable excuse if it's not for the fact that Blender already have the I keyword, where if you press I, you basically insert a face. So, you know, in any case, for the longest time, I thought this is something that I'm just gonna have to live with when I'm using Blender. Until I came across this add-on. Here we have a simple cube with some segments. Just a cube, nothing to it. I'm gonna just select a few faces here and use this new plugin to extrude. Now let's cancel the operation by right-clicking. If this were a normal Blender extrusion, we'll be getting double-faced nonsense like this. Fortunately, with this plugin, we have returned to Sanity Zone. None of that double-faced nonsense anymore. It ends here, no farther. Let's see what else this new plugin can do. Instead of extruding outward, let's extrude inward, shall we? Using the normal Blender Extrusion tool, this is what we'll be getting. Notice once again the double face nonsense that is going on. This particular problem, however, is not exclusive to Blender. Most 3D modeling programs suffer from this as well. So much so that until SketchUp came along and introduced their push-pull tool, I thought this was just the way things are going to stay. Imagine my surprise when Blender can now do this. Isn't this amazing? Now let's go down one more time. Whoa. But wait, there's more. Check this out. I am gonna go all the way now. Three, two, one. What else do you want me to say? This is it. This is the most powerful plugin in Blender for people modeling using the box modeling technique. I personally use the edge extrusion technique 99.9% of the time for all of my 3D modeling. But this is one of those tools that once you see it, you're not gonna go back to a time where this tool doesn't exist. The name of this plugin is called Destructive Extrude. It is created by this amazing guy whose name I can't pronounce, so I'm not gonna risk it. I have placed the link in the description. 
what I'm going to say next is only for my subscribers. Do you guys want a series where I review really useful Blender add-ons like this? I'm really picky when it comes to add-ons. I only install those that are actually useful and not some fancy add-ons that do pretty things that I don't really care about. It's hard to define, but I have my own personal definitions. Let me know what you're hoping for in the comment section. And to my one Patreon subscriber, thank you. It means a lot to me that I have at least one Patreon. Thank you. This is Bracel Jack, and I will see you next time.